In this video, we'll show you how to incorporate custom scripts and classes into Bolt. Let's get started by looking at the custom mouse cursor script, as well as the two custom classes we created specifically for this project. Our mouse cursor script is fairly simple, and we can see we're only using our default libraries within Unity. Additionally, this script only uses three variables, as well as an onMouseEnter and an onMouseExit method. For our custom classes, we're also using the default Unity libraries, as well as the Unity Engine Video library, to be able to have access to our video variable name extensions. If we add our mouse cursor script into our scene on our power button and set our mouse cursor UI object, we can see that our mouse cursor script simply changes our mouse cursor to the texture image we specify. Within Bolt, we can automatically access our script that uses Unity's mono behavior name extension. For this example, we've created a simple state machine to demonstrate how to access custom scripts and classes. For this example, if we go into our start state and in our unit search wizard and we search for our mouse cursor highlight script, we can see that we can access and control all of the functionality and variables we created through Bolt. It will also allow us to call and send variables through Bolt as well. In this example, we'll add our mouse cursor highlight script to our start button, and then we'll also set our cursor highlight texture through Bolt as well. If we click on a power button, we can see that Bolt has added our mouse cursor highlight script, as well as set our custom highlight texture. Once we leave play mode, we can see that that script is no longer attached to our game object. Next, let's examine how to add custom classes and integrate them with Bolt. Unlike custom scripts, if we were to search for our two class names, which are channel class and game display class within our unit search box, we would see we wouldn't get any results. In order to use custom classes, we need to first integrate them into Bolt using Bolt's unit option wizard. To access Bolt's unit option wizard, we need to go to tools, Bolt, then click Unit Option Wizard. With our Unit Option Wizard up, we can simply click Next in our Assembly Options and go to our Type Options. Within our Type Options, we want to go to the bottom and click our plus button and we want to search for and add the Custom Classes namespace. For this project, we will add our Channel Class as well as our game display class. With our two classes added, we now want to hit generate to allow Bolt to integrate them into our graphs. With our unit option complete, if we now go into one of our graphs and if we go into our unit search and then search for our channel class or our game display class, we can see that we now have all of our variables and methods within our custom class now available within Bolt. With the ability to add both custom scripts and classes to Bolt, we have an almost endless possibility of functionality that we can create or modify. It also allows us to incorporate any third-party plugin, add-on, scripts, or classes into our Bolt game or project.
don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, and free game asset giveaways.